Doctor Who, The Ark in Space, Part 1. A wheel and spoke design space station hangs in the orbit above Earth. It has a shuttle, sh- space shuttle sitting next to the spoke. We go inside and see through the green tinted sight of something that probably shouldn't be there. They appear to be people encased in plastic pods. The litter pod opens to reveal a young man dressed in white. Then we leave. Circuitry control. The TARDIS materialises inside a dark room. The doctor emerges carrying a torch. Doctor, you're clumsy, have you are a clumsy, ham-fisted idiot, Harry O.C. I said I was sorry, didn't I? Doctor, what? Come out, fud. And don't touch anything, Harry O.C. I'm trying to open the door. Harry comes out the TARDIS. Harry, oh, I say, we're gone. Sarah, who's gone? Sarah comes out the TARDIS, carrying an oil lamp. Harry, I mean, this isn't... We aren't where we were when I've gone mad. Sarah, that's how I felt the first time. Where are we, Doctor? Doctor, I have no idea. Sarah, a little trip to the moon, you said, just to prove to Harry. Told I didn't expect him to stop messing about with the homonymic regulator. Come away from there, Harry. Harry, you should sell that thing, Doctor. Doctor, I could do, could what? Harry, jolly useful in Trafalgar Square. I mean, hundreds of bobbies hiding inside it. Sarah, hi, Harry. Harry, huh? Sarah stopped burbling. Harry, what? Oh, sorry. Shock, I suppose. I must say, I feel very strange. Doctor, not much oxygen. Still, nothing to worry about. Sarah, suffocation is nothing to worry about? Doctor, you can survive for quite a time yet. Sarah, why why you play with your yo-yo, that yo-yo? Doctor, just a simple gravity reading, Sarah. Yes, almost certainly. We're in some kind of artificial satellite. Now, isn't that interesting? Sarah, not very. Doctor, doctor, I think it is. Sarah, it's dark, it's cold, it's getting very airless. Doctor, all we need to do is get the power back on. Let's see what's over here. Sarah, might as well, might as well go for a look around, I suppose. Well, are you coming? Harry, you better stick with the doctor, don't you think? The doctor finds a light switch. The decor is through ceramic white with some control panels on the wall. In the wall, a couple of desks and chairs. Sarah, Doctor, yes. That's better incredible. Sarah blows out her lamp. Harry, I say, what's all that for? But I've never seen anything like quite like it. The Doctor slides open next to Sarah. Sarah, hey, Doctor. Doctor, definitely put on Earth, but can't quite, can't place the period. I can't quite place the period. The Doctor, the next room contains even more equipment. Sarah, see, Doctor, look. Doctor, in a minute, Sarah. Sarah, oh, see, but. Harry, none of it seems to work now. Anyway, Sarah enters a new room which contains a crouch and a slight incline. It examines a large console sticking out of the wall. She does not notice the door is slightly closed behind her. Doctor, judging by the micro slave drive, modified version of Burnett Oscillator, I see it's built in the early 13th century. Harry gasping. Oh no. Doctor, you don't agree? Harry, early 20th, 30th century. Doctor, late 29th, early 30th. I feel sure. Control room. Sarah is also feeling, finding breathing getting difficult as he discovers the closed door. Sarah, Doctor, Doctor, there's hardly any air in there here. Doctor, please. Sarah hammers at the door. Secondary control. There's no sound of Sarah thumping in here. Harry, Doctor, I'm a simple sort of chap. Are you trying to tell me we're now in the middle of the 30th century? Doctor, good heavens, no, we'd be well beyond that. Harry, beyond the 30th? Doctor, well, you gave that hermetic regulator quite a twist, I'm afraid. Harry, where are we? Doctor, it's difficult to say. All this stuff's obviously been here for some time. Several thousand years, at least. That, what was that? Control room, Doctor, Sarah, Doctor, I can't breathe. Good secretary control. Sarah, Doctor, Sarah, where she got to? Harry, in the TARDIS? Doctor, impossible. I've got the key. I told her time and again about going off by herself, Sarah. Harry, well, there's only one door, and she, and she, I swear, she didn't go out that way. So that there must be another exit then. Harry, a sort of hidden deck hatch or something. Got the vacuum tight panel, more likely. 
used him a lot in his in these early spaces books. Oh, just as you thought. Harry, no Donna? Donna, it must be remote control. You haven't touched anything, have you, Harry? Harry me? Donna, well, there's only two of us here. And your name is Harry. Harry, oh yeah. I did I did just test one switch. Doctor, which switch, Harry? Doctor, nothing happened. Doctor, which switch? Harry, which switch? Well, I think it was. Well, no, perhaps it was. It may have been standing. Doctor, try to remember, Harry. Harry, trying to remember, trying. It's awfully difficult. I can hardly breathe. Doctor, think where you're standing. Harry, uh, this was the one. Doctor, sure. Harry, but nothing happened. Doctor, go on, press it, the door opens. Sarah passed out. Harry, Christ, he's synonyms. Doctor, no air in here, here. Help me get her back. Doctor, Harry, quick. But the doctor closes and they pick up Sarah. Doctor, Harry, now what do we do? Doctor, there must be a reverse mechanism. Harry, I've always hated sliding doors ever since I caught my nose in one in primary bar- barracks. Doctor, how is she, Harry? Harry, she'll be okay. We can get her out of here. The doctor tries very switches on the big console. Doctor, there must be a broken circuit. Harry, what? Doctor, nothing, nothing working properly here. Harry, oh. Doctor, I found the oxygen supply. Doctor, Harry, well done. Doctor turns the knob underneath the nozzle, high in the wall. Doctor, no good, Harry. Doctor, Harry, no luck, huh? Doctor, why is nothing functioning here? Doctor, couldn't we smash our way out of something? Doctor, what with our bare hands? Harry, it's not all my fault. Doctor, I got us into this, Harry. Harry, I haven't got enough puff to argue with you. Doctor, then lie down and conserve the oxygen while I, while I can do what I can. That's odd. Harry, what? Doctor, these cables have been sheer clear through. Oxygen valve, silver mechanism. Yellow, black, green. Traces the cable back to the control panel. Doctor, yellow, black, green. Yellow, black, green. He turns to the several cables in the wall panel. Uses a sonic screwdriver. Acquisition starts to get to the Doctor too. He drops it. Finally he succeeds in getting fresh air rushing in. Doctor, Harry, 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 is she okay? Doctor, just in time. Are you feeling better? Harry, con- convalescent. May I oh, me he now is a couple of weeks in the sea- at seaside. Doctor, good. Give me a hand and lay her on the, on that couch. In, 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 it's near the vents. Harry, good thinking. They lay Sarah on the sloping couch and the doctor opens up more nozzles. Don't know, just must repair some of those cables. Do- Harry sheared, he said. Doctor, all bitten. Harry, what? Doctor, there's a mystery here. Harry, something happened a long time ago. Harry bitten? Don't it looks like it. An interesting question is why? Clearly deliberate, therefore done for a purpose. Therefore, what if it had? A reasoning of intelligence. Harry, very large teeth. Doctor, splendid. Now let's see if that plan on works. The doctor goes to the large console, presses a button. Door to the control panel, up flies, open. Harry, all systems go, wouldn't you say? Harry, she's coming round. Doctor, good. Harry, steady. Steady on, old girl. Steady on. Sarah, Harry. Harry, yes, I'm here. I'm here. Sarah, call me old again, girl again. I'll spit in your eye. Doctor, welcome back, Sarah Jane. Sarah, couldn't breathe. Harry, a drop of Randy ought to be the thing now. Doctor, there's, there's some men in the TARDIS, Harry. You might as well... You might, you'll might, be right as nine pence in a minute. Going to get some brandy, all right? Sarah, oh, I hate brandy. Harry, Doctor, do you think you could possibly persuade her to take some? Secretary control. A sort of like red light fitting comes down from the ceiling. Harry, I say, what was that? Doctor, get down, Harry. Doctor pushes Harry down behind the desk. Harry leaves his shoe behind. Which gets zapped by the light. Harry, crikey, what is it? Doctor, keep your head down. Control room, Sarah. Lights flash behind the couch. There's a soft humming sound. Sarah lies down. Back, lies back down on the couch and vanishes. Second control, Doctor holds his hat up to a standing aerial. It gets zapped. Doctor, we seem to be trapped, Harry. Harry, what is it? Doctor, some sort of automatic guard. I haven't bargained on this. They repaired the circuits of wonder, of course. That's why they were cut in the first place. Harry, what about Sarah? If he comes out, 
Dodo, tell her to stay where she is. Harry, Sarah, Sarah, control room. Dot, Harry, O.C., oh, see. Can you hear me, old girl? Keep away from the door. Do you understand? Keep away from the door. Tranquilizer. Tranquilizer room. Sarah wakes up in another room where smoothing music is playing. She's lying in an alcove above a large console. Sarah, where am I? Man, O.C., oh, welcome, sister. Welcome to Merva. Do not move. No, do not move. Dangerous to move from the tranquilizer couch. Please remain in contact. The biochronic vibrations. In five minutes, the final phase of your processing must commence. If you have any personal possessions you wish to preserve, please place them in the casket adjacent to your right hand. Shortly, he will call your voice of the high minister, speaking personally to you. Conclusion of the million subscribers' message will be two minutes in the room, receiving a commencement. A reiteration. Second control. The area was put up above the desk. Nothing happens. Dr. Hanley is not activated by movement unless it moves. What moves is organic. Dr. Howdy helps us, does it? We're organic. Dr. Not down here, we're not. Harry. Harry. Oh, yes. Good place of logical. Good piece of logical deduction, Dr. Dr. Thinking. Dr. begins to unscrew the desk from the door floor. Train corner room, woman, no see. Greetings, citizen volunteer. This is the High Minister speaking on behalf of the world execute. Executive, I salute you. Train corner room, woman, greetings, citizen volunteer. This is the High Minister speaking on behalf of the world executive. I salute you. For you are about to make a serene sacrifice in a few minutes. Your path beyond life, in case there's any fear in your heart and doubt in your mind, it's also a moment let me remind you I was about to take you all take you all you are past. You have carried a torch that you handed down from generation to generation. Sarah, what's happening? Secretary Control. Desk is moving across the floor. Harry, where are we going with it? Doctor to the far wall. Harry Wright. Doctor inch it round your end. Harry okay. Doctor, one slit, Harry, we will be, we will be charcoal, push on. Harry Wright, keeping the solid side of the desk towards the light fitting, the edge around the room to control panels, landing up next to the other desk. Doctor, there it is. Harry, what? Doctor, trouble is we can't reach it from here. Harry, Harry we can't, what can't we reach? Doctor, the auto guard cut out. Look up there, see, never mind, faithful scarf. Dot throws a screw scarf up towards the lever, but gets zapped. Harry, bad luck. Jolly good try, though. Doctor, isn't a game of cricket, Harry? Doctor, Harry, sorry, mind you. If I had a cricket ball, we'd jolly knock that, soon knock that switch. Harry, Doctor, will this do? Doctor takes a cricket ball from his pocket. Harry, watch this, then. Harry polishes the ball in his jacket, throws it, zap. It goes back down in pieces. Harry, organic, of course. Doctor, free so. Harry, what? Now what? Doctor, there's one thing left. Risky, but it might work. You don't want your other shoe, do you? Harry, I suppose not. Harry, slip it off, right? I want you to throw it across the room. I give the word, understand. Harry, all right. Doctor, I'm going to try to distract it. Let's hope it's not double barreled. Ready? Harry, ready. Doctor, now. Doctor throws a shoe towards the light fitting. You get, you can hear the zap. Same time, Doctor leaps up and pulls the lever down. Light fitting guides back up to the ceiling, into the ceiling. Doctor, I think we've done it, Harry. They stand up. Doctor, pity about the scarf. Madam, not the artist made it for me. A weighty little knitter. Weighty little knitter. All right, Sarah, you can come out now. And never get another one like it. Harry, look at my shoes. Dr. Sarah? Doyle closes off Sarah's, Sarah's off old clove. Trying to tranquilize the room. Heavy guest enters. Control when Doctor opens up the couch to reveal a massive secretary. Dr. What a fool, of course. Harry, what is it? Dr. Why didn't I realize? Stalk range transmitter. This strange thing is. Harry, it's only an internal relay. Harry. Doctor, I haven't the focus notion what you're on about. Doctor, never mind. It, must, it just means the doctor can't be far away. Sarah can't be far away. All we've got to do is find her. Come on. Trans, 
transom. Dot and Harry stepped down into the transom of the walkway and around the outside of the window wheel. Our windows, top and bottom wheel, the inky blackness of space outside. So I think that we'll try this way first. Head off clean to clockwise. Harry it points to the door. To a door, Harry, I say. What about that armory? Doctor, not very like not very like, very likely. The transom finishes it as a door mot area Q crack for Doctor Blake Seven shouts at them. Voice, this is a sterile area. Keep out. Harry, it's just like a hospital. Dot opens the door, it slides open upwards. Harry, well, we well, thought, what we, do you think? So don't be the nervous, to Harry. We see through green eyes, and something slides down the space by some steps, Harry acts. Doctor, what is it? Doctor, I saw something moving. Doctor, nonsense, Harry. Harry, I'm positive I saw something move. Doctor, trick of the light. The door closes behind them. Harry, it wasn't a trick of the light. I saw something moving. A green trail of metal grating that is of is the floor of the transom. Doctor, it's like a trail left by Gretchen of Molestic. Harry, a slug? Doctor, a snail. Harry, that size? Impossible. Couldn't have got through this grill. Doctor, very interesting. A multi organism. Harry, what, huh? Doctor, let's find Sarah first. Come on, let's move on to, to the intersection. Doctor, this was promising. You all pass the notice saying yellow bridge personnel only. Decontamination. The room is small and yellow. Harry, she's obviously not in here. Doctor, decontamination room chamber make, might make you feel a bit dizzy. It does. Tranquilizer, tranquilizer room. Now we see the wall opposite the now empty alcove contains 16 number blocks of, by six, of 6 by 6 units. Doctor, I think we're getting warm. Harry, animal, but well, not it. The doctor looks through the window and it is in the door, so labelled. So of course that explains everything. Do you realise what it is? Aren't you feeling better? Harry, no, I'm not. Do then pull yourself together, man. This is fascinating. Is this a co-adrenic respiratory? Harry, respiratory? For what? Doctor, everything. Well, everything they considered worth, pre- they considered worth preserving. Look at this. Pushes of about an extra number of blocks, a unit to five to... T- a row two, block eleven comes out. Dr. Microfilm, it's a complete record, music, history, architecture, literature, engineering, incredible, entire body of human thought and uh, achievement. Harry, yes, but what's it all for? Dr. Prosperity, I don't know. Well, why build it, all this, and send it into space? Harry, I say, couldn't it be some sort of survival kit, could it? Dr. Survival? Harry, yes, you know, the sort of thing they shove in lifeboats and things. Doctor, you're improving, Harry. Harry, am I really? Doctor, yes, your mind's beginning beginning to work. It's totally due, due to my influence, of course. You mustn't take any credit. Now, what, what what's missing? Harry, missing? Doctor, yes. If we assume that there was some great curses on Strack Earth, and for the end they launched this lifeboat, then one obvious missing element is man himself. What happened to the human species, Harry? The door slides open behind him. They walk over and peer in. Harry, I say, what a place for mortuary. It's like a cryogenic chamber. This is a little place seen at the top of the episode. White clothed people in plastic pods arranged in pairs around the wall. On the bottom, the tiers are labelled D, E, F. Playing other rooms below and possibly above. Some pods are empty. Doctor, this is a mortuary, Harry. Quite the upper reserve. Opposite, reserve, reverse. Harry, reverse it? I hardly call it a nursery. Doctor, try a cryogenic chamber. Harry, what? Doctor, old principal. They have seen it applied on this scale. Look at them. Short corridor lined with four pods leads to another chamber. Doctor, there must be hundreds here. Doctor, well then, you've seen one corpse. You've seen them all. Doctor, corpse? These people aren't dead. Harry, they're asleep. Try a human race waiting. A triumph, triumphant blast. Harry opens a pod. Harry, dead as a door knocker. A second chamber. Doctor, home and speech specimens. What an initiative. Incredible species. Only hun- it's only 100 million years since they crawled out of the mud and learned to walk. Puny defenseless bipeds. It's five floods. Famine and plague. Five cosmic wars and holocausts. 
Now here they are amongst the stars, waiting to begin a new life, ready to outsit eternity. They're indomitable, indomitable. Choragenic chamber. Harry peering into the eye of the sleeper. Harry, what do you think you're doing, Harry? Harry, some sorry to contradict you, Doctor. Not a flicker of life. Doctor says, suspended emanation. Harry, there's no metabolic functions at all. I mean, look at him. Not even the deep, not even the deepest coma. The hair and fingernails continue to grow. That's epimis. Doctor, so total suspension, Harry. The doctor closes the pod. Doctor, you can't survive ten thousand years of coma. Harry, ten thousand years. Doctor, fifty thousand years. A hundred thousand. Time is immaterial. It's an amazing sight, isn't it? The entire human race in one room. All colours, all creeds, all differences. Finally forgotten. Doctor? Harry, Doctor, are you serious? The entire human race? Doctor, well, it's chosen descendants. The operation must be been meticulously planned. Come on. Harry, where are we going now? Doctor, find, first of find Sarah. We're going to shut down the systems. We're intruders here, you know. Harry, just a minute, Doctor. Are you trying to tell me so that, that this... Are you trying to tell... That this is where we're all going to end in here? Does so not end, Harry, just a pause. Harry, but only a few hundred corpses of bodies in here? You might have been the rest of humanity. So global catastrophe? So yes, and they saw it coming. They had a vision for it as best as they could. Don't forget something for you, for you to be proud of. Harry Doctor? Doctor, yes. Doctor Harry, look, a green sliding trail comes in or out of an air vent by the floor. Dot oxygen, radiant heat. This is deep in space, I wonder. Harry, perhaps it's some kind of mould. Doctor, mould? Harry, and what trail? That trail we saw in the corridor. Doctor, that thing you saw moving in the corridor. Harry, dust. Uh, the grill thing was a dust extractor. And we opened the door after up to years and caused a bit of a draught. Doctor, ah, very convincing. All the same. I think I'll just, we'll just check a few beds while we're here. Harry, what are we checking for exactly? Doctor, just to make sure that everything's in order. Right, Harry, right, Harry, right, oh, they check, look over the, around the other pods, and when uh, Harry opens one, Harry, Doctor, Doctor, what have you found? He goes over. Sarah, Sarah, oh, Sarah Jane. Harry, can't help her. We can't help her now. Doctor, no, she'd be like that for 3,000 years at least, even if we had a resuscitation unit. Doubtful because of his driver here. Here now. Harry, there must be something we do. What would a resuscitation unit look like? Harry pass, goes past the sign saying, Do not enter. Codrenic area. A light is on, or floor is a motion. Opens the cupboard. They would medic too. So the very light can oxygen cylinder. Doctor opens the cupboard. Medic one. So do you recognise if, if, if there is one? A large green insect falls out.